today I have the pleasure of speaking with Alex Klenman from Azincourt Energy. How are you today? I'm great, Tracy. How are you? Fantastic. I was just enjoying uh, Dean Bristow's piece on Azincourt Energy. Uh, he certainly is an enthusiast. What do we have here? We've got lithium, we've got uranium, and we have a company that's basically doing M&A work in the critical material sector. And if I'm correct, we also have a technology element. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. Yeah, we're, we're, so, we're ticking a lot of boxes. So how about you start by telling the Investor Intel audience, because we're new to Asimcourt Energy, sure. who you are and where you're going. Uh, thank you, Tracy. Yeah, we've um, we've done really well here. We've managed to earn uh, the majority interest in the East Preston project over the last four years, which has been a uh, uh, the, the tail end of the bear market for the uranium sector. Uh, but we've done we stuck to our guns. We've done what we said we were do and going to do, and uh, we're ready to roll. We're, we're cashed up, and we're heading into a big drill program. Yes, um, I want to get to the cash up part, but you've had some very interesting news. Uh, how about we start with, I think, because we're discussing the uranium, you recently announced completing your survey and you updated your plans with your drilling program. Can you talk to us about that? And of course, you are cashed up, as you just mentioned. The East Preston project is 25,000 hectares. We're next to Urano and, and NextGen, so those are both billion-dollar market caps, so we have a great address. Got over 25 kilometers of prospective trends that need to be drilled, and uh, we're heading into that. Our, our, our biggest drill program to date, as I mentioned, so uh, we'll, we'll be doing that uh, prepping in December and, and drilling January, February, March. Uh, so we're looking forward to what will be the largest program to date. I'm going to just have you step back on that question with this news release because I thought it was interesting. You used a radiometric survey. Yeah. Can you just mention what some of the highlights were from this survey? The radiometric survey that we just completed really opened up the southern section of our project ground. Uh, it, it's all about targeting. So we're looking for different types of geological attributes that lend themselves to uranium deposition. And we were able to use that survey to gain more insight and add more targets to our inventory, which is already quite robust. You also had in the last couple of, well, in the last month and a half, you've had at least three news releases surrounding financings. Do you want to hit on the highlights from those financings? Yeah, no, it's amazing. What a world we live in. So uh, we are um, got about 12 million in the bank. Um, and for a pre-discovery uh, exploration company, that's rare. So what it does is I guess it speaks to the validity of the project. It speaks to the validity and, and the excitement in the sector. And uh, we're obviously a good pick for some rather large funds. I mean, the entire financing we just announced was was taken down by about 16, 17 different institutional funds. So we're, we're uh, very well supported by, by institutional money. Well, I have to ask you, were some of those funds uh, targeting you because of the uranium, the technology, the critical materials, or were they doing it because of the ESG uh, angle? Yeah, it was a combination of all of that, I think, but really primarily it's, it's the prospectivity of, of discovery at, at, uh, at East Preston, and it's the sector. Uh, this is a generational opportunity in uranium, and the funds recognize that. Okay. Recently, you also just put out news about a partnership with Phoebe, and that seemed very interesting to me. We've got everything here, including artificial intelligence, technology, analytics. Uh, how does this partnership work? Well, uh, Rob Anson, the CEO of, of Phobia, is a solid guy and, and I love what they're doing with their company. And we had a discussion uh, about applying AI and, and data mining to, to the uranium sector. Um, it's being used elsewhere, a little bit in the gold space. There's a company out of Silicon Valley called Cobalt Metals, K-O-B-O-L-D Metals. It's a private company. Biggest shareholders are Jeff Bezos and Bill Gates. Uh, and they're using nothing but an artificial intelligence uh, uh, exploration plan to find battery metals, energy metals. So I like that. I've been intrigued by that. And for us to be able to maybe be a first mover and take that step, I thought was really interesting. It's just going to help us get really efficient um, and, and be able to go through uh, a lot of data points very fast and maybe detect patterns consistencies that otherwise would take a long time to get to uh, via just the human element. So um, everything's moving that way. AI, and, and algorithms, and, and there's no reason why exploration shouldn't welcome it. And we're happy to be uh, maybe a first mover in that regard. 
Well, you seem to be in the right, moving in the right direction. So what should we as new shareholders be looking forward to in the next quarter, other than obviously some drilling results? Yeah, no, I, you know, the, the exciting part is look, when, 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 you, when you pick an exploration company and, and, and it's pre-discovery and they make discovery, specifically impactful discovery, that's very exciting. You can expect the market cap to, to raise significantly. On, on such a, a result. And, and we're getting really, really close. Uh, we're now able to drill in a meaningful way, uh, in large drill programs. For example, we've done 17 holes in four years. We're gonna do 30 to 35 holes just this winter alone. So uh, the timing is great, spot is creeping up. We could be in a mass bull market and we could deliver potentially a discovery into that bull market. So that's exactly what we would like to do. And, and looks like uh, at least we're giving ourselves the opportunity. Well, I'll tell you, Alex, thank you so much for joining us today. We hope you will visit us often. I will, and thank you, Tracy, much appreciated.